Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy JT and in today's video we get ready to talk to you about the layer mixer node. So, <laughs> here we go. All right. Now, one of the things in the parallel node that is different from the layer node is this. In the parallel node, each of those changes that you make from one node to the next that you have in that parallel section is it's like it's going to try to take those and equally distribute the amount of change for the entire output. Okay. So now, in the layer mixer node, it's going to work more like what you would see in a program like Photoshop, where every time you have a different layer or a different node, the change you make, the last change you make is going to be more the priority over the previous change. So if you've got that bottom layer and then you have one layer, whatever you put on that top layer is going to take, it's going to, it's going to take the top hierarchy or top order over that bottom layer. And then you add another layer and another layer. But then also in your layer mixing nodes, you can also do compositing. So let's check out some of these. All right, just to give you a quick example, we're gonna go over here to our color page and I'm gonna show you using a couple of our rectangular masks. So let's do this. I'm gonna do a resultant node, which I want all of my, my layers to actually feed into this node. So I'm just gonna call it resultant. This is kind of like the the output just resulted okay so now I'm gonna make a subject layer I'm gonna tab and I'm gonna call it subject so this is so whatever we do remember I always use my original because I like to be organized with my, with my node structure so right now I'm gonna say this is just the original node this is the subject so let's say we had a lot of different corrections that all went into here as a matter of fact let's just do a couple real quick now this is shot on the 8-bit camera, so there's not a whole lot that we're gonna do anyway. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Um, real basic, okay, we've got a subject. I'm going to add exposure. I'm gonna add color. And that's it, that's it. Yeah, just for the purpose of, of uh, explanation. Subject, we're gonna say exposure. Then we'll come over here, we'll call this color and then we'll do we'll come here and make another row here we're going to say that these are going to be our secondary changes we'll just call this subject All right. as a matter of fact we're going to change that to wb all right so we're not going to really do anything with the white balance but these would be considered my primary i'm going to say coming down here these would be my secondary and over here, we're just going to say it's like an output, okay? Actually, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say mud, even though we're not going to use one. But just so, because once we put that on there, we come in here, we can make all our primary and secondary corrections. But I don't want to confuse you. So, we're just, for the sake of, because if you were in an edit, you're going to make a lot of corrections before you begin doing your actual secondary corrections, okay? So, you're going to come in. You're going to get your exposure right. You're going to get your white balance right if it's, if it's not. So, we'll just start with our exposure. And let's just bring everything let's just bring everything up all at once for a second. Okay. Just kind of doing that. We're on the exposure node. So the changes we make are going to be contained within this node. Alright, let's let's kind of get some of our jumbled up area right here. Let's spread it out. Let's open it up some by adjusting our shadows. Okay, you can see here, even with just that, we've already made some change. See that? So that's all we're gonna do. Okay, we're not gonna do a whole lot. Um, let's check out our let's check out our parade. Okay, it's, it's red heavy just because we got that red cap on there. But let's go back to our exposure here and go back to our waveform. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you click on this button right here, you can set your scopes up like this if you want to be able to look at more than one. So I'm gonna say let's go with two. All right, we're gonna have our waveform here. And then we'll have our parade over here. So we kind of look at them simultaneously. But now we've got our exposure. Let's bring this up just a little bit, even more. Okay, let's bring up our midtones. All right. I like 
like that and then on our gain let's bring that down some now we're clipping up here but mainly because we got that big white light right there you can even see it right here okay let's come over to our color tab i mean our color node and let's just bring our reds down just a wee bit another thing you can do if you want like i'm looking at this red it doesn't look heavy heavily saturated like it's unrealistically saturated but i'm gonna come right here and we click on the four uh scope view you see how this is going way beyond this that means that whatever color that is it's oversaturated okay so one of the things you can do is you can come in here over some you can just choose your reds you can begin bringing it down that's one way you can do it okay that's one way all right now i'm going to reset that now another way you can do that let's come back over here and hit them all okay now another way you can do that is you can come over here into your curves now i'm going to go hue this is saturation we can select that red hat and you see this right here you see this open circle right here pull it down see we're on the saturation let's pull it down there you go now it's no longer oversaturated okay um it definitely could use some more contrast though so now that we don't have anything that's oversaturated in this image let's go ahead and go to our, our two uh two scope view I'm going to add another corrector and it's going to be, I'm going to call it contrast. Do a label. All right. So now on my contrast, I'm going to come back out to my wheel. Let's just dial in a little contrast. still looking okay I like that this is where we started you know this is where we are okay what's more we see now that's pretty much doing all of our primary balancing so now we're gonna come over here let's say this is our subject right that's our subject okay so that's our subject now we're gonna come right here Tell you what, let's do it. Let's throw a quick look just to kind of finish it off. All right. Um, hmm. What do we use it? I'm going to add that look to it. And then I'm going to dial it like all the way back. So just to finish it to make sure we get some really good contrast. Okay, that's good enough. So now we're going to come over here to our subject, right? So this right here would be our, would kind of be a finished look as far as a primary correction. Now we're going to come over here to our subject. What we're going to do is we're going to go right click, add node. Let's add a layer node. Okay. So now you see this, that, that serial right here. We need to put something on the other side of that. So we're going to go Option S to add another one. Then we're going to go uh, Tab Result. It resulted. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to say one. I just want to show you something real quick. Now I'm going to go Option. Well, I'm going to click on my subject. I'm going to go Option. This is another one. All right. So we'll say. Two. Okay, let me bring these up so because I'm, I'm just really getting ready to show you kind of what the difference is between what the layer and the parallel node. All right, option what we got three. All right, also you'll notice that it added another input. You can add another input a couple of different ways. You can either do a right click, go to add one input. Okay, all of these inputs, these are all going to be layers of this one subject. So we can make all of these changes, okay? Just like if we want to, you know, let's say we want to make one part red. If you add another layer, whatever's on that layer is going to overlap the red, but then you want to make it blue. 
in orange or green or whatever it is you want to do whatever correction that you have is going to go in more of a priority so you can even almost say it's kind of like this well let me go ahead and rename that real quick so we've got two or we've got three you can even go as far as saying that the way you would look at it this would be the bottom then you got layer on top layer on top of that and layer on top of that or you can even switch them around if you want to if that just made you a little more comfortable with looking but when I look at this I'm saying okay this one right here is the king of the hill this one right here is the booger with the sugar right there all right now all of those are going to come into this one cereal which is going to come right over here to whatever it is that's going to become our output so let's do this real quick I'm going to say um Let's just add a mask on each one of these just so that you can be able to see it, to see what I'm talking about. We'll say, uh, we'll add a rectangle right here, right? Then we'll come over here to our wheel and then we'll just make this all the way red. something else I think I may have let me see come here I'm gonna make that one green all the way green okay I'm gonna add another one This one all the way blue. All right, so now there we go. We got red, we got green, we got blue. Okay, here and here. So we can see. All right, now right now we're in a layer node. The one that is on the top is the blue. The one that's in the middle is the green. The one that's on the bottom is the red. You can even go in and you can change the order of these just by disconnecting. Like we got red, green, blue. So watch this. I'm gonna say, let's put this one at the top, blue. Now let's put red at the bottom and then let's put green in the middle. Bam. So you can see right now we got red is down here on this bottom input. It's on the top. You got green. It's in the middle input and you got blue and it's on the, the very uh, bottom input. OK, so I'm going to undo that. Bloop, 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 bloop. Just to put it back where it was the way we have it. Now, that is what a layer mixer allows you to do. Another thing we can do is let's say we're going to come right here. OK. We can go composite mode. Let's say we want to do color burn. Okay. Let's say we want to do difference. All right. Let's say we want to do under composite. I'm just doing a right click and I'm going to composite mode. Let's go to overlay. All right. The same way you'd make some of these compositing decisions using Photoshop, you can do that with your video as well. So I'm just showing you the actual options so that you can know where your creativity could possibly be. All right. So now watch this. I'm just going to say normal. But now notice how you can't see the red underneath the green. You can't see the green underneath the blue. You see the blue in its proper hierarchy. That was the last one that we added. So it is at the top layer. It's the top layer over the green, over the red. Now watch this. Let's make sure each one of these are overlapping so you can really be able to see uh, its effect. Now remember, these are the layers. These are layers, okay? Now watch this. You can do a right click, right? You see where this says morph into parallel mode? Remember, parallel node, it's not going to put them, it's not going to organize these layer by layer by layer. It's going to 
it's going to do a equal sample of the key subject for all. It's going to do its best effort to blend it all in equally. So watch this. If this was a parallel node, this is what it would look like. And by the way, you can actually change a layer node into a parallel node just by right click morph into parallel node. You see that? There's a blend happening there. So it really kind of all depends on what it is you want to do. What would be some examples of this? Well, in the other, in the actual video that we did parallel nodes on, we had one scene, one clip where we had multiple people wearing different color outfits and we wanted to change the colors of those outfits so we used a parallel node why because if they go you know we were able to go in and isolate those individual outfits together so if you didn't see that go take a look back how we did it we actually do that the exact same way you would do a parallel i mean a layer node um you would just go in you you go option p or you can go to right click and then add parallel node and then you make those individual adjustments so this is the difference right here you see here there's a blend because it's equally adding the information from the from the red key and from the green key and from the blue key all in one now if we don't want that we just want we want each layer to take on its own uh, hierarchy you can just go back to right click morph into layer mixer node so guys that's it that's how you would use the layer node and that's also how you can use the parallel node so these two can be i mean you know you don't have to use or try to make everything from just a serial node because like i say if you're doing that the way especially the way that i do it you'll have a million serial nodes but this is the major difference and if you can understand this not so much as to mimic what I'm doing, but if you can get that foundational understanding, you'll be able to do what you do because it's all about what you want to do. And so this is how you do that. This, these are the layer nodes and the parallel nodes. I probably could have just went ahead and put it into one tutorial, but hey, I guess it'll just be added value. Um, maybe we'll do a live where we're actually using the layer mixer node and and actually applying it to something else. So that way we don't let this video just drag. So look guys, I appreciate you coming. I appreciate you being here. And uh, I'm having a ball with this. Uh, I'm glad that I'm able to offer this value to you guys. The community is growing. So uh, look, if you're new here and this video has brought some added value to you and your content creation, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as a part of our community. Um, a couple people hit me up after the last video that I had and they were like uh, I want to get some of that footage so I sent I think I sent out three different clips but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a live where we're gonna go from the very beginning to the end of a project and what we'll do is I will put some 10-bit footage up there I'll put some 8-bit footage up there from actual projects that I've done and then we can we can grade those together that way you'll be able to push and pull the exact same way that I am you'll be able to apply some of the free looks that come with the software in exactly the way that I am and we'll see what kind of results that we get not so much as will your results come out to be like mine or mine like yours but you know just something that will allow you to be able to be creative in your own way and in your own right so guys look i'm having a ball with this let's keep it going let's keep it going if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below um my social medias are in my bio so if you want to reach out to me directly um by all means go ahead and do that and i'll tell you what we on to the next video.